Welcome back to the Fort Johnson podcast, your source for meaningful conversations with the people who keep our community safe, strong, and connected. I'm your host, and today, as we continue our discussions on how to keep you and your loved ones safer, we'll do a deep dive into one of those topics that can be a lifesaver, fire safety. With October being National Fire Prevention Month, it's a great time to go over what we should all know to prevent fires at home and in our workplaces. Today with me are some of the unsung heroes who work behind the scenes, members of the Fort Johnson Fire Department. They'll share some very important information on fire safety tips, common causes of fires, and what we can do better to be better prepared in case of an emergency. Let's get started and learn how to stay fire safe here at Fort Johnson. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching our podcast. I'm Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office, and we are in the Fort Johnson Podcast Studio with me today. I've got two of our guests. I have Alex Rivera from the Fort Johnson Fire Department. He is the fire inspector. Uh, how's it going, Alex? I am the fire inspector. Yeah, uh, I'm doing gosh. pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. That's great. And who'd you bring with us? I brought uh, Sparky. He's our he's our pint size Sparky. We have a we have a huge Sparky that comes out and uh, talks to the kids and stuff like that. And then we got my pint size buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute wonderful guests to have here. Hey, Sparky, nice to see you. Thank you for having me, Jeff. <laughs> Alex, the uh, October is Fire Prevention National Par Fire Prevention Safety Month, and um, the week of the sixth through the thirteenth is the National Fire Prevention Safety Week. So you have a week inside the month, but the month is since we're in October, we're in a, we can go over the month. And I know what you I know you guys did a lot of stuff during the week. So um, what what is special about this month for you, especially as an inspection officer? <laughs> so uh, Fire Prevention Week uh, is when we uh, that that week that we had these uh, events is the second week of October. And uh, it started because uh, we kind of, it's basically comes down from the history of the Great Chicago Fire. Uh, we oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it, uh, it, it, it did a lot of damage, burned, uh, burned down half Chicago and everything. And so since then, uh, it all happened because of the poor construction and there, and there wasn't that much of uh, fire safety and education on 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 people doing their fire watch, doing their diligence. Well, the, ru the rumor has it is uh, that a cow kicked over a lantern in a barn in uh, Chicago yeah. and started the whole thing. Yeah. I don't know how true that is, but well, that's that that was the that was the at the time that was their their investigation kind of got that part, and that's where it was at. And then ever since then. Uh, we we uh, make the second week of October uh, as educating the public and, and teaching and pushing heavy on Fire Prevention Week so we'd never forget about the Great Chicago Fire. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> so, and this year's theme, we've teamed up with the NFPA, which is the National Fire Pro uh, Protection Association. Uh, and they their theme for this for this year is Smoke alarms, make them work for you. And so you've probably seen them all over the, all over the base with, with the signs and everything. And uh, basically what it is is we're push, they're pushing heavy. We are as well pushing heavy on um, getting people to uh, set, uh, check their, their smoke detectors. Uh, the, the, the way to, for people to remember is to check their batteries uh, at least uh, uh, do a, a battery test uh, once a month and uh, change their batteries out the same thing, the same times you do your spring forward, fall back, or your time change. Whenever there's a time change, this is a good time to change it, your battery out. It's a good way to remember. Yeah, there's an uh, there's another way. If you're watching videos uh, like I've seen, uh, and you hear that little chirping in the background, just like beep every every like minute or so mm -hmm. yeah that's not something going bad it's not your hearing that's your your battery's gone dead in your fire <laughs> your smoke detector yeah and that's basically what it is and also just just because some 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 of the houses especially houses here on base and some of the new construction uh their smoke detectors are actually wired into the building it doesn't mean that they don't have a battery they still have a battery backup in there in case of power outages and stuff I would like hope that so so <laughs> 
Uh, so it's still good to change your battery out on those uh, on those smoke detectors, even even with uh, even with the smoke detector being wired in, in the homes. Uh, uh, one of the big pushes about it is uh, uh, <clears throat> that we we've learned that uh, most uh, fi- most di- uh, people uh, smoke detectors reduce uh, the. I'm sorry, uh, smoke detectors they reduce the uh, the risk of death by over half. Uh, just from having a, a well-working smoke detector. Yeah, because especially if they're they're placed properly throughout the house. Yeah. Uh, you know, it gets the smoke, and it's it's from what I've been taught, it's not the fire that kills you. It's it's the smoke. Yeah. And the and uh, you'll that and that's why you guys wear air masks all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> the way the way things are made and everything, there's a lot of toxic uh, uh, smoke and everything. Uh, toxic fumes that are coming out, but it's not. It's not even that. The oxygen that that a uh, fire takes from from a room, from an enclosed room, while you're in there, you'll you'll suffocate before before the fire even starts to affect you. I'll suffocate. Did I say it right? <laughs> <laughs> I had to call you out on. Oh that. yeah, you did. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure Sparky he, was going to say something. English <laughs> is not my first language. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but um. But yeah, so uh, so we 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 have uh, we we push on on things like that, especially with the smoke detectors and um, and being able to get that um, message out there. Now, what about the carbon monoxide uh, detectors? Uh, I know it's not fire safety, but I mean it's kind of related. Oh yeah, it's definitely related uh, with because uh, because it's still a uh, uh, deadly uh, odorless. Yeah, and you can't uh, even smell it. Gas, so it's uh, it's very important to uh, check it. Most uh, a lot of detectors, uh, smoke detectors nowadays have uh, the dual systems. They have that and uh, uh, carbon monoxide detectors as well. Um, it's che- it's it's uh, it's very important to check both of them. Even if you uh, your house, a lot of a lot of people say, well, my house doesn't have gas. It's all electric. They don't get them. They, they, it's still important to get them because if you have a garage that's uh, adjoined to your house and uh, you have any fumes or any kind of gases that are coming into the house or just anything that can that could happen because it's a silent killer. It can kill you and you won't even know it. So um, on the prevent, fire prevention week, uh, you and Sparky and the rest of the guys, uh, I actually know, uh, yeah, you had a bunch of uh, events and a bunch of different things that you guys did. Uh, what were some of the what were some of the fun stuff that you did? No, well, on the seventh we 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 went to um, Parkway Elementary, and uh, we went to Parkway Elementary and did a safety education little assembly. We talked to the kids, uh, have them do the stop, drop, and roll, and uh, we hand out uh, little uh, bags and stuff. And then we also have a coloring contest that they that they have. And then after the week of Fire Prevention Week, I believe it's uh, the the week after maybe Monday. They had a drawing. So they, ha- they yeah. had a drawing contest, and you get and you judge all of the uh, drawings yeah. on Monday. Yeah. It's, so, it's a, did so, Spark Sparky did did Sparky go with you? Oh yeah, the, <laughs> both of them, big Sparky and little Sparky, would be over there, and uh, just uh, the little Sparky is giving everybody a hard time. Big Sparky's just standing there, <laughs> not saying a word, and just using hand gestures and giving people hugs and high fives. So Sparky, how did you like that? Well. D- I, the first day was October 7th, and I went to Parkway Elementary, and we did assembly. I didn't, I got to talk a little bit, but mostly it was the song and dance by my big Sparky. Oh, big Sparky. So, uh, it, it's, it's weird. You have an odd accent there. Uh, where are you from? <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly from here. <laughs> <laughs> On the eighth, we go to the commissary. We have uh, some uh, d- uh, tables, displays, and hand out uh, brochures and some footballs, little helmets, just little uh, educational things for the for the kids. Oh, you know it'd be cool since it's October and it's Halloween and all that stuff. You guys should have um, you should have handed out some candy, and it could have been like hot tamales and red hots and and fire Cheetos and. <laughs> You know that's a good idea. We'll probably, I'll probably end up uh, pushing that. <laughs> I know we're in. But the no future. matches. I know we're in the future right now. But I yeah, probably should it's do in the that. future. <laughs> oh, don't let people in on the secret. These are pre-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, and then on the ninth, 
uh, the ninth is usually what everybody looks forward to, and it's the parade. So uh, Alex was saying that you got to go on a parade, and uh, but you didn't throw any candy out or anything like that. What'd you do? Well, you, 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 you're missing a day. Okay. Oh, I'm missing let a day. Let me okay. let you know. On the eighth, <laughs> we went to the commissary, and we gave out a bunch of flyers and pictures, and people kept touching me. But it was okay, and we got to enjoy and teach kids about fire safety. And then on the October 9th, that's when we had the parade, and we got to sing and wave to the kitties at the CDCs. And, went, and then we just went driving around like crazy. I was in, this, I was in the truck. The big spark, he was in the Polaris, which, which is awesome, and I had to sit in the truck. Uh, and then <clears throat> the 11th is the PX. Now, the PX, when we when we set up at the PX, that one's a uh, much bigger show. We have the trailer out there. Or the trailer, the fire the fire trailer, basically, I've seen every fire department for Fire Prevention Week. They always have a fire trailer. And it's just a, it's a small trailer. That our, our trailer is a, has a dummy kitchen and a dummy bedroom. And uh, it has props where the stove will light on fire and, and things like that. And we teach uh, people how to how to put out the fire safely. Um, uh, how how some early things can can save your kitchen from becoming a big mess. Uh, so, something as simple as unplugging the uh, shutting the microwave door, unplugging it. Uh, so, so there's no more fire going through and they're sealed. The, the microwaves are air, airtight. So if there's a fire inside it, it's going to, it's going to go out on its own. You just take one of the fire sources out of it. Same thing with a, a with a pot or a, a pot or a grease, uh, grease fire. Put the lid on so, it. Put the lid on it. There we go. Things like that. Oh yeah. That was a, that was one of your, uh, slogans also just put a lid on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the bunk rooms and the, and the bedrooms we have, we, we have, we do that for the kids. And we basically show the kids how to feel the door if the door is hot, um, how to exit out of the bedroom window, how to stay low when, when there's smoke inside the room and things like that. Yeah, you just don't want to exit the window if you're on like the third or fourth floor. No. Not without no. somebody down below. Uh, but you're, uh, you have a ladder truck over at your station. And from what I hear, it, uh, it goes up like five stories. Yeah, we're able to, um, we're able to operate that at the... At the it goes up by about 110 feet, uh, and it's uh, usually we've we've tested it at the hospital, getting it up to like sixth floor, or seventh floor. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, we've it, done, we've done a few of those. Uh, that's those crazy. Drills. That's how that's how I that's how I uh, learned <laughs> that uh, buildings on Fort Johnson are not to be above a certain height because it's the ladder truck. It's is as high as the ladder truck can go, and they won't build any higher than that. <laughs> <So>. Yeah. <laughs> And then, um, and then the our last day is this is something new we, that we're doing this year, uh, and it's uh, we're doing an open house on the Saturday. So Saturday, uh, October twelfth, we we did an open house. Uh, we'll have we have bounce houses uh, that we had the bounce houses there, and uh, uh, we'll have vendors. Um, we're gonna have a dunk tank, just a, a small a, a small event to. Uh, invite the community over to the fire department and see what we do and 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 get some uh, education. And uh, one of the big pushes we we were doing this for is because uh, a lot of um, families and kids are going to be still in school whenever we're set up to doing fire prevention education at the PX or the commissary. So we want to make sure we get as many people as we can, as well as show our public uh, public education and, and public awareness and just just open up the, the fire station to to the public to let them see and let them know that that we're we're there for them we're here for them yeah I'm gonna have to come over and, and take a, a tour with my camera and uh, see you know give a give a newcomers tour to the uh, to the police or the the fire station and building one at that yeah yeah, the, yeah a lot of people know it as either building 0001 or building one or they'll know it as central fire station a lot of people call it central fire station because that's what it says on the front of the station i've never heard anyone call it central fire station i heard everyone call it the fire department or yeah. the firehouse or the firehouse yeah <laughs> no they're like oh it's the firehouse on the top of the hill yeah that one <laughs> <laughs> it's over there by uh 310 yeah <laughs> So, Sparky, how long have you been working over at the uh, the Fort Johnson Fire Department? Well, with, with with here, I've been about 15 years, maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been a while. 
That's that's, that's a long great. time, especially for a dog. Oh yeah. Ah, so you're you're a you're a well seasoned a well well seasoned uh, puppet. Well, yeah, it's a good <laughs> thing that I am just made of stuffing and some guy behind me. <laughs> uh, if we were to have, oh wait, you know what? I see a lot of commercials on uh, on the internet for a fire blanket. So it's a it's a nice heavy blanket that's fireproof. And if you have a fire in your kitchen, especially an oil fire, grease fire, uh, you just take this blanket and drop it over the fire altogether and it, and it extinguishes it pretty much immediately so there i mean that's that's it'll 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 what it'll do is it, it smothers it extinguishes it and puts the um uh puts the fire out basically puts the <laughs> fire out because it, it it eliminates the oxygen yeah but the chemical reaction is still there uh -oh. the heat if the heat is still there and the fuel is still there but there's no oxygen it's going to go out but if that blanket gets removed it's going to come back on so the best thing to do is if you have a blanket or towel or rag, put it on, cover it. Once the fire goes out, turn off the source. Turn off the 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 fire the any kind of the an ignition source. Yeah, and, the and last then, thing you want to do is pick up that hot grease and and try to put it out or put it in the sink or throw it away or oh no oh, yeah. no 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 <laughs> yeah sloshes. Oh yeah, we've had we've had we've actually responded to some calls like that where oh that's where not fun. They they covered it up and then they tried to take it off the stove and it just flang all over the place because it's still that that's still greased it's still hot uh, even though they smothered it and the fire's out the, the the grease is still hot and the pan can still be hot enough to reignite yeah the uh, <laughs> and some things that you don't want because i remember last time or one of the time one of the last i've had you in here several times yeah <laughs> i've had beards yeah. i dressed up as a lumberjack <laughs> but um next month get ready one of the things that you don't want to use to uh, put out a fire is flour because if you put if you throw flour on there you're going to have flour dust and uh flour dust is combustible well yeah the, uh, it's uh it's it, it's it, it's and it does it does do the splash oh know? yeah so you want you want to be careful with that the the extinguishers that you have in your homes and stuff is is one of the things that we always try to push because it does put out the cloud kind of like like how you said but it has the, it's an ABC. It's designed for all to to be able to combat all three types of major uh, basic types of fires. But I'm always afraid that if I if I go and spray it on there, if I might get too low and, and splash that uh, the oil out and just put it everywhere. Well, that uh, what what's <clears throat> what well, what that does? It's still it's still combat. It, it, it's a, it's a clotting agent. So as soon as it hits and touches, it's gonna it will it will splat out, but it will also stick with it. So it's gonna it's gonna put it out, and it's the, I guess how it comes out in, in that cone, it's more of a it more it doesn't come out in big pressure unless you just have the nozzle right into the grease well, and just shoot it out. Knowing me, that's if that's how I'm gonna do it, just <laughs> right in there. <laughs> but if you if you stay within ten to fifteen feet away and, and put it and, and spray it, it, it should be perfect. Now the other things are uh, if it's a if it's not a grease fire, but that's that's pretty much the most common, right? Or maybe uh, something catching fire in the oven yeah. and just yeah, that or uh, even even something as uh, as simple as a uh, what do you call it the heating elements on in a dishwasher. We get a lot of those calls. Oh, that, that's not that good. Basically, people put uh, their um, uh, Tupperware. Uh, lids and their plates or Tupperware containers and lids and it'll slide right through and then get caught in the heating element and then uh, you would think the water would put it out <laughs> right yeah it's just uh, it gets uh, I guess it gets hot enough and we've 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 gone to a lot of calls where there's heavy smoke in the See, kitchen and I don't like don't putting Tupperware in there because it always warps the lids and then you get a bunch of stuff that doesn't fit and it's, uh, it's yeah like, I can imagine uh, uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah so we've got oh, oh and uh the, some other things that i remember from fire safety is that uh you've got you've got um when you get your fire extinguisher make sure you do a check on it every so often to make sure it's still charged up and not expired and, and get them inspected but when you do it you point at the base of the fire in a sweeping motion yeah. What's the, the? Do you remember the uh, the acronym? Oh, what is that? It's uh, what is it? Uh, pull, uh, press, sweet. No, I don't. It's uh, it's pass. Pass. I I'll give you that. I'll give you pass, and then you go from there. Okay. So it's so it'd be uh, pull the pin, 
uh, assess the fire. I, <laughs> <laughs> pull the pin. You aim. Aim. Say, uh, sweep. Aim at, the, aim at the base of the fire. Sweep. Uh, no. What, we, we, if we're aiming, but we haven't done... Uh, Shoot. Well, squeeze. Oh, squeeze, shoot, mm-hmm. same thing. Squeeze. And then sweep. And then sweep. All right. So, so I got it. So almost. It's pull, aim, squeeze, uh, pull, aim, uh, squeeze, squeeze, and sweep. Sweep. Look nice. at me. I can't even get it yeah, out. Yeah, right? and you're a fire inspector. I know, right? So when you go out and inspect fires, are you just inspecting? Oh yeah, that's a that's a fire. That's a good one. <laughs> well, I, I, I I'm more in the I'm more in the prevention side. Oh, I'm inspecting okay. buildings to make sure they don't catch on. Oh, fire. so you're the beforehand. You're not yeah. the the after guy. Yeah. If I if I'm if I'm doing a bad job, that means that the, <laughs> my guys have to do their job. Yeah, there's a there's a guy on uh, is a Chicago fire. Uh, he's a he's the fire inspector that goes out and uh, uh, investigates. Oh, and fire investigator. Fire investigator. Yeah. They're the after. They're the after. Yeah, after that's guys. The, that's those are the they're guys. the ones that, that try to uh, they determine the source of the fire. <laughs> How I mean that's that that's an amazing job. Just you walk in, it's like. Uh, no, this was started by a match and some accelerant. And it's like, no, this one was done by uh, uh, electrical shortage. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just basically on understanding uh, the nature of fire and uh, the fire science of it and how it um, how where where it bursts and where the uh, the the and lear- understanding the birth and the decaying of fire uh. and basically that whole ordeal. You'd be able to basically walk it backwards and, and be able to determine where it started, how it started, and uh, the um, around what time it started. That seems like it, it seems like a really cool skill to have. Yeah, I mean, it <laughs> takes a, it, it, it takes a lot of experience and a, a lot of know-how and just understanding uh, fire science in general. That's crazy. The um, now the we've got uh, fire prevention. <laughs> Uh, how to how to prevent fires? Well, that's you know keep things away from uh, ignition sources like uh, drapes and curtains away from electrical outlets, mm-hmm. and um, keep your uh, keep your handles away from on your when you're cooking. Keep your pot handles and pan handles away from or put them over the counter, not over. Oh yeah, outward. Yeah, little tips and stuff like that. Yeah, it's good things. Uh, one of the things that uh, that that's that's starting to that we're starting to push more on to to educate the the people is using proper chargers. Like uh, if you if you have like uh, uh, those those lithium batteries or those uh, hoverboards, oh, use the charger no. that those are designed for. Uh, so there's no. Uh, uh, there's no wattage or any kind of it's not it's not overpower and overcharging and causing any fires or explosions because uh, I, I we've seen we've had issues we had we had guys that are putting laptop chargers on their phones to charge their cell phones and it's a little it's a little too much for for one thing and then it's, and they're trying they're wondering why their phone is so hot <laughs> it's on fire i don't know why would you plug it into the wall <laughs> No, those those big adapters, those are transformers. They change the voltage. Mm-hmm. It's, but uh, most, you know, most things nowadays have the automatic shutoff after something's charged. Uh, so if you use the proper charger for your phone or your your laptop or things like that, it will actually regulate and and stop so it doesn't overcharge. And yeah, it's using things like that um, during like during the. The hurricane seasons with people using generators, understanding the use the generator properly. Keep it uh, if you're gonna uh, set it up. Oh yeah, set, set it up it outside, up, not in the garage, not in the garage, not upstairs, and so you can so it's closer to your PlayStation. Uh, uh, make sure that it's outside, venting away from the house, not venting into the house. Uh, make sure you're not uh, back feeding it into your home by uh that we've had that were there any what's your favorite part of the uh, uh of your job sparky mine i most of the time i just i'm a talk i'm a people person i just talk or i just talk they don't let me touch much i just a spokesperson but when i was a younger pup all oh, i used to i used to jump out and run into the fires and save people and Things like that. I miss those days. Yeah, that that seems like the exciting the exciting jobs. Yes, <laughs> but it's so. But it's the the job that I do now with fire prevention and teaching people the fire safety and understanding. That's that 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 makes it much much better. 
nice. Uh, so if you had one thing to say to uh, to all the watchers out there and all the listeners out there, what would you say is the most important thing to remember about Fire Prevention uh, Month and uh, Fire Prevention Week? Oh, the the best thing right now is remember our slogan. Our slogan right now is smoke alarms. Make them work for you. Well, um, I mean, it think it looks like we've got uh, pretty much everything covered. I appreciate you and Sparky coming in. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and uh, I'd like to I'd like to invite you back again, especially next October, and get you in here. And uh, Sparky, it's wonderful having in having you in here, and hopefully, I'll be able to have you in here again also. Oh yeah, I want to be here for the turkey thing. Oh yeah, the turkey thing sounds great. You know, and and maybe you could teach people how to uh, not fry uh, turkeys frozen. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I think uh, I think Alex is already taking care of that though. Yeah, yes, that, <laughs> that, that, this guy, this guy, I swear. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we got we got the holidays next month for the Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, safety. you, you got to get one of those trailers that uh, show it's like a living room with a Christmas tree in it that uh, shows you how fast that thing can go up and, and burn the entire room. Oh, I've yeah. seen those; those are pretty. Oh, neat. we got it. We got it. We actually have a surprise now. We uh, we got our uh, our propane tank uh, the demonstrator up and oh, running. Oh, does it blow up? Yeah, well, it's just it, it shows the it shows the fire because back, back recently we just been using the electrical one. But we got the little propane one working now, so we're able to use those and bring them out to to show you guys and stuff like that. Uh, they've been they've been a lot of people been asking, hey, can you demonstrate the the deep the deep fried turkey thing? And you know, it, it's still dangerous even to demonstrate. It's better just to show videos. Yeah. And let that public educate by that way because it's so dangerous even with all the proper gear and everything. It's just uh, it's best just to just. Uh, just say no. Don't put a frozen turkey inside uh, a hot grease. Now that would that that would be bad. Don't do it. And also, oh, you and, know what? That's I just educated these guys by doing something. Nah, just, they won't do it. They, <laughs> no. <laughs> and also, uh, when you hook up your propane tank, uh, get some soapy water and and go over all the hoses and in connections and stuff like that because uh, it'll if there's a leak, it'll bubble and you'll see it. So, oh yeah. Yeah. So go back and uh, do that. Yeah, I've done gas leaks before. <laughs> but anyways, Alex, I appreciate you coming in. It's uh, It's been great to have you in here, and I'd like to have you back again soon, of course. So you know we love the uh, fire department over here. We love all of our uh, all of our DS civilians and contractors here on Fort Johnson, and we appreciate you guys. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Glad right. to be here. All right. Sparky, it was nice to see you too. Thank you for having me, Jeff. <laughs> And uh, I hope to have you back again uh, sometime uh, in the future. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office, and you've been watching the Fort Johnson uh, podcast. Uh, please hit subscribe, notify, leave a comment, hit the, uh, everything. Just be our fans. Come on back, and uh, we'll be listening and watching at you later. <laughs> That was easy.